Today we answer a request from Heath McAllister who asks us, can you please do a video on overfacing inverters with more solar? Or I guess that another way to say that would be oversizing your solar inverter with more solar. Ross, give us a brief explanation of what oversizing uh, an inverter means when it comes to solar. Yeah, cool. So I guess the easiest way to explain it is if I buy a five kilo inverter, putting more panels than five kilowatts worth onto that inverter. So for example, five kilo inverter, six kilowatts worth of panels. So in what circumstances are we allowed to put, say, six kilowatts of solar panels onto a five kilowatt uh, inverter? And what's the advantage of doing this for people? Well, it depends a lot on, firstly, you've got to check the inverter. Mm -hmm. The inverter has to be able to handle it. And what I mean by that is an inverter is a split up into two halves, input and yeah. output. Yeah. When you buy a five kilowatt inverter, mm -hmm. it means five kilowatt output to the house. That's how much power it can supply to your house. Got it. The input side of it is how much solar panel panels you can plug in. Mm. So some inverters, if you've got a five kilowatt inverter, mm -hmm. can only take five kilowatts of the panels. Mm -hmm. Some of the better quality ones mm -hmm. can actually, you know, something like a Fronius can almost take double. So on a five kilowatt inverter, you can have um, 10 kilowatts worth of panels. Yeah. So that's very important in knowing whether you can actually oversize an inverter. Um, so whether or not you can oversize your inverter and how much you can oversize it is brand dependent on what the inverter is. So some inverters, you, if it's a five kilowatt inverter, you can only put five kilowatts worth of panels on it. Yeah. If it sometimes a five kilowatt inverter can take six kilowatts of solar panels, sometimes it can take seven. Um, it will only ever maximum output the five kilowatts or the size of the inverter. So what's the advantage of putting, say, six kilowatts of solar panels onto a five kilowatt inverter? Say the inverter can handle that. Good question. Well, the, the main advantage is that more panels will give you more power more often, I guess is cool. the easiest way to put it. Um, so on a not so sunny day or when the sun's starting to set or the sun's starting to rise, if you've got more panels, the sun will, the inverter will wake up earlier because mm -hmm. the more panels to capture more sun. On an overcast day, um, you've got more panels to just, yeah, again, capture more of that light that's coming through the clouds. And as the sun starts to set, all those panels are still kicking on, you know, late yeah. into the evening. So um, that's why you'd want to put more panels onto your inverter. For sure. Well, it, it makes sense because if you've got a five kil, if you've got five kilowatts of solar on a five kilowatt inverter, and we've seen this before. In, when we're doing installations is that you never really get a full five kilowatts out of those solar panels because you've got things like um, uh, loss of power through the cables they're running through. You know, you never really get perfect efficiency from your solar system. So if you've got a five kilowatt inverter, it's often worth putting on an extra kilowatt or two, depending on what the inverter allows you to do to ensure that you get closer to that maximum output more often is what you're saying. Exactly right. So, um, Aside from what the, can, the inverter will allow you to add on to it, mm -hmm. um, there's also the government regulation side of it. Government how much regulation. The government will allow you to put yeah. onto the inverter. What's the, what's the government regulation around solar inverters? Um, and so, say for example, Ross, I've got a five kilowatt solar inverter that allows me to put seven kilowatts of panels on it. Would the government allow that all of the time? Or what's the rule around that of how many panels you can put onto an inverter? Well, the clean energy council say so you're not allowed to oversize any more than 33 percent so if you've got a five kilowatt inverter uh add 33 percent to that that's yeah. the biggest solar system you can have on that inverter gotcha. anything bigger than that and they won't pay a rebate on that system right so the government uh in australia at the moment pays a rebate based on the size of your solar system yeah um it's slightly different from state to state but there is a rebate in every state and it's dependent on how many solar panels you get and the size of your solar system so if you exceed your inverter by too much, even if the inverter allows you to do it, so say you've got a five kilowatt inverter yep. and you put seven and a half kilowatts of solar panels on it and the inverter says you're allowed to, the government will say that exceeds 33% yep. of what you're allowed to put on that inverter and they will withhold the government rebate and you'll miss out on a couple of few grand off your solar system because you put too many panels onto that inverter. Exactly right. So there's a sweet spot in sizing up your solar system as to how many panels uh, you're allowed to put on and still claim your government rebate. Yep. And that's what we want to aim for when designing a solar system. Yep, exactly right. There is one other thing that comes to mind um, around this, and that is the 
the STC that you're mentioning, so that government rebate um, actually covers the cost of the extra panels virtually, mm. meaning if you go from a five kilowatt system to a six kilowatt system to oversize uh, your inverter within the legal regulations, the government will actually give you more money. Yeah, that's how, right. How does this work? So, um, it's, it's a good point because that's the other main advantage of oversizing yeah. is that because you can oversize the extra, the government rebate is based on panels, kilowatts, kilowatts. kilowatt size. And it's based on kilowatt size of the solar system. Yeah. So it's not based on a five kilo inverter. It's based right. on six, six and a half kilowatts worth of panels. Of so, panels. So your government rebate's based on how big your solar system is, not your inverter. Exactly. So if you've just got a five kilo inverter and you've just paid for that, mm -hmm. that's great. And the, and the inverter can handle more panels. Mm -hmm. You'll often find the, well, not often, well, the government rebate can sometimes cover the cost of those extra panels. Yeah. Um, so the increase from a five kilowatt solar system to a six mm -hmm. can be sometimes tiny or... Negligible. Negligible. And it's oftentimes you'll see when, when you're researching solar, especially if you're new to solar and you're looking to buy solar, that a lot of deals with solar are like four free panels or three free panels. Yeah. And what you'll actually find that if you install solar panels that are cheap enough, um, meaning they're not expensive solar panels, by putting more panels on your roof, that company selling you that system, even though they're free panels, they get more rebate from the government so by giving you free panels, because they're cheaper panels, they end up making, you can make more money from the government rebates on the back end. Um, whereas what you want to do, you want to put a decent quality panel from, uh, on, your, on your roof. So you go from five to six kilowatts, say, for example, yeah. a decent, uh, a decent uh, brand of panel, and the government rebate will virtually cover the cost of that. So you might only be out of pocket a couple of hundred bucks to go from a four, five kilowatt system to a six kilowatt system yeah. because of the government rebate, you're covered in that rebate and it's a 20% increase on your solar system for like a few hundred bucks in terms of output. Yeah, exactly right. So it's, it's important, um, like you said, it's not all about just throwing panels on the roof. Mm. Um, a good efficient system with good quality panels. If you look at the inverter, what the converter can handle and stick within its parameters, the inverter will run at really good efficiency mm. instead of just sticking free panels on the roof. Yeah. Um, so important, yeah. Important. In summary, you'd say that all inverters have a, uh, uh, most inverters or good quality inverters have a certain amount of panels you can exceed their limit by. Yeah. So a five kilowatt inverter might be able to handle six kilowatts worth of panels. Um, the government rebate in most states of Australia, uh, in most areas of Australia will cover most of the cost of putting these extra panels on your roof. So it's worth going from a small a five kilowatt system, for example, to a six kilowatt system. Yeah. Um, but you have to be careful in doing this that you don't exceed the 33% yeah. limit that you mentioned when um, oversizing your inverter so you can still be eligible for the government rebate. Yeah, exactly right. And, and just as careful not to oversize any inverter. Yeah. A lot of inverters can't take, um, yeah. cheaper inverters can't take that six, six and a half on a five kilowatt and yeah. it'll just burn them out. So yeah. got to be careful on both on both fronts. Cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have more questions about solar, please leave them in the comments below, and we look forward to ch chatting with you more there. Take care.